I'm afraid not. It takes three keys to find the deed, you say? Aye, a golden one, a silver one, and a porcelain one, all hidden somewhere about the club. Hmm. This Goodman Witless, he must have been ahead of his time uh, to design such an elaborate security system. And then forget how to turn it off! Blithering nincompoop, if you ask me! Hmm. The porcelain key that will slide in the porcelain slot. Looks like a match. Gold key, gold lock. It appears to be genuine. So you see, PC Plod, Prickly Thicket has a wee golf course after all. I see. And where is this land exactly? Well... Mm -hmm. If you can't even establish that, gentlemen, I don't see how... Gangway! Gangway! Used to be in reconnaissance, don't you know? Damn hand at topography. Let me see now. Bit of a rise to the north, river bisecting the 11th fairway, grove of oaks to the west. Interesting. What, what, is, what it? is it? Naturally, some of the landmarks have disappeared in the intervening years, but if my guess is correct, the 18th green is located precisely on the spot of ground now known as... 62 West Wallaby Street. Well, I'll be. And it's not just my house that's in danger. If Chairman McBiscuit gets his way, the golf course will end up covering most of it. But I'm still jiggered if I understand why you're playing golf through the middle of town. If I win the Chairman's Tournament, I'll be named Chairman of Brickley Thicket, Mrs. Gavily. It's only the club chairman who can call off the wrecking ball. Why is the Chairman's Tournament got to be played here? Well, as the deeds show, Mrs. G, we're standing on the site of the original Prickly Thicket golf course. You see, it's all very logical if you have stopped to think about it. Chairman McBiscuit sinks his butt, moving him to 20 under par. But let's face it, Pat. You haven't a prayer. Oh, I'm not chucking in the trilby just yet. I've still two holes to play, remember? And I've got one clear advantage. The greatest helper a golfer ever had. Me remote-activated auto caddy. Watch this. Uh, 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 oh, here, Gromit, how do you like to man the controls for a while, eh? <laughs> Get away with ya! Give up new while you're still behind! Have you not been humiliated enough? Not by half. Uh, which way to the next tee? Well, let's make things interesting at least. Two holes left to play. The wee short hole starts here. And it ends oh, right over there. What a shot! All in one for Chairman McBiscuit. He's on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. Now he swaggers to the 18th tee. The long hole starts right here. And it ends. Oh, by it for the Bobby Dazzler. Clean out of sight. Oi, Paneer! Where's it going to come down then? 
let me see now. The 18th hole. Yes, that would be 62 West Wallaby Street. Oh, yeah. No, you can play the two holes in either order. Play them both at the same time if you like. First man to finish the pair of them wins the tournament. What do you see? I say, uh, that's a very sporting offer. I accept. Right then, afraid I haven't got time to hang around here and watch you muff your shorts. I've a victory party to get to. You'd best follow me back to the 18th green, Paneer. You'll not want to miss commentating on my match-winning putt. Hmm. Now then, which hole shall we tackle first? Let's give the short hole a try. Oh dear, that's going to be a tough shot. A spectacular shot, ladies and gentlemen. Spectacularly bad, that is. Straight into the sewer. Another stroke of misfortune for the underdog Wallace. Nothing for it but to take the plunge, eh, lad? Not exactly a picnic in the garden, but at least it's dry down here, eh, Chuck? Uh, now to locate the ball and chip it back out. Shouldn't be too difficult a uh, task. Oh, listeners, it isn't over yet. Not till the ball goes into the cup. Here at the end of the 18th hole. We've got the ball, but there is the cup. That's the burning question this afternoon. And we're back. Broadcasting live from the Prickly Thicket Chairman's Tournament here at beautiful 62 West Wallaby Street. If you're just joining us, I'm Mr. Paneer, and I'm here with top-seeded player Duncan McBiscuit. We're on the green of the 18th hole. At least, uh, we think this is the green for the 18th hole. 
to be honest, we're having a right old to do trying to find the actual hole. Are you positive this is the spot? Well, I copied me notes straight from the old deed. Thirteen lengths southwest of the tree, it says. Maybe you're measuring with the wrong club. There's only one official prickly thicket measuring club, and this is it. <laughs> yes, this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the thrilling finale to a thrilling contest. Stay tuned and you won't want to miss a moment of the drama. But Biscuit is the reigning champion. How's Wallace doing? He's at about... he just... Uh... That's a good question. I'd better check on Wallace. Me listeners won't want to miss anything important. Mushrooms? There, there, my dear. Oh, it's only Gromit. There he is, and there's no polite way to say this, down in the sewer, flailing about with his clubs in the filth. And they called him the Rookie of the Year. Who would have thought Wallace would end up down there? Yes, sir. It's happened. Just as I said it would. He's finally hit rock bottom. And only I can save him, his angel of mercy. I'm coming, my poor, addle-headed, golfing fool! And what a tournament it's been. What a contest. Up and down, up and down. Of course, all the ups has been Duncan and... Oh, there you are, Gromit. Well, no luck down here, I'm afraid. If only these pesky mushrooms hadn't... Wallace! It's Flint. So it's true. You finally hit rock bottom. As great Aunt Prudent said you would. It had to happen, I know, but oh, so quickly! No matter, your angel of mercy has come for you. I will lift you from this place of degradation back into the light. I'll wipe your burning brow and nurse you back to health. I'll surround you with flowers and music and mushrooms. Out of here! Get me out of here! Oh, you poor thing, you've had a fright! Everywhere! Everywhere! Mushrooms! Come up to the flat, love. I'll fix you a nice cup of tea. I'm not sure I know what to make of that, lad. Do you? Don't move the ball, Gromit. That's cheating. Golfer Wallace. Down there in the sewer. Taking stroke up. Uh, now, which club to use? Uh, oh, what do you think, lad? Wallace has sunk his ball, bringing his score down to just, let me see, 198 to 215, 235 over par. But the tournament ain't over yet. You know, Gromit, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this game.
I'll take the controls now, lad. It'll take a good strong club to get me all the way to West Wallaby Street. Which one to choose? Ah, me blistering iron. Pity the flag isn't in the post box, eh, Gromit? Hmm. To play the ball from where it lies, I reckon. And here comes Wallace, the keen as most a challenger, hot on the heels of our champion. The action is becoming fast and furious here at 62 West Wallaby Street. Uh, relatively speaking, that is, for our current job. Any sign of the ball yet, lad? Quick, then! Wallace's ball! Oh, no! This hallway ain't big enough for the both of us! You didn't see that! And neither did you! See what? He squints, he licks a finger and... Ah! He joked me. Oh, this is a good one. I say, I say, I say. Might surprise you to hear it, but I'm a scratch golfer and all. You? A scratch golfer? That's right. I write down all me good scores and scratch off all the bad ones. Scratch off all the bad ones! <laughs> and here comes Wallace, the Lad, now, uh, which club to use? It'd help if I knew where the hole was. What are you up to, lad? Drinking Nora, the 18th hole! Hey, 
Hey, drop that. Do something from it. Now, which club to use? Oh, what do you think, lad? Now, 